Welcome back. And in Mercer County, people got to experience history firsthand thanks to the annual Mercer County Heritage Festival, which returned for its 13th year over the weekend. Our Clayton McChesney was there to check it out. The Mercer County Heritage Festival presents guests with a wide range of history, from fossils to mining equipment and everything in between. This event was created by the Mercer County Historical Society with the goal of promoting an education in history that you may not get in the classroom. The history is dying out. It's not even taught a lot in school anymore. Uh, and uh, children uh, often ask you uh, what their grandparents or great-grandparents did for a living or how you make this or how you do that. And so we like to do that, let the kids see how things are made. Miller says 300 students from local schools visited the Heritage Festival on Friday to see demonstrations on how things were done in the past and hear from historical impersonators to help history come to life. For people to be able to see in person what they've been reading about, it helps a lot about the history of West Virginia, Mercer County, and a lot about the war and uh, the Civil War, and it, it still affects people today, that, sa that same war, 200 years later. Among those doing the impersonations is a 14-year-old John F. Kennedy impersonator with a passion for history. It's great to learn about what happened in the past because it's just amazing, you know, learning what happened before you came into the world. Miller, who also developed her passion for history at a young age, says she loves having younger people like Kennedy take an interest in history. Kennedy encourages other students his age who are considering getting involved in history to go for it, adding, it's fun to learn. Here for you in Mercer County, I'm Clayton McChesney, WVVA News. Thanks, Clayton. The Mercer County Heritage Festival will also be hosting the Lincoln County Cloggers tonight at 7 p.m. Miller says that the Mercer County Historical Society have unfortunately voted to not continue the festival in future years, but adds that they will continue to be involved in other events in the community.